on the last episode of Pretty and Paid. What's pop, lock, and dropping, honeys? In my last episode, I had to give a shout out to the baby mamas around the world because some baby mamas were mad that I don't want to be a baby mama. I did some grocery shopping. I also bought myself my own flowers, showed off my twerking skills while I was doing some cleaning around the house. My walls were very dirty. I also touched up my extensions, and I did some Facebook market shopping. If you want to see what's coming up next, let's get into this episode. Yeah. This pussy got power, stay in it for hours Yeah, I get what I want, he don't tell me no These bitches, they hate me, these niggas, they love me so I wanted to talk to y'all about something, a new topic today The topic is, girl, how do you feel about playing house with someone who is not your boyfriend or your husband? Do you like so me the way I feel about it I used to not be on that like I used to like absolutely not we're not playing house you're not staying over here I got stuff to do etc etc but obviously I'm a um that was you know when I was like 21 22 23 I was you know not trying to settle down obviously and I was just oh girl there go my man hold on daddy is calling y'all gotta wait now hey daddy I got interrupted I was talking about playing house personally the way I feel about it I don't mind uh being 28 of course younger and stuff I'm not I don't know I wasn't really on that but now I really don't mind I feel like it's the auditioning stage and I feel like that's where a lot of people get get it confused when they don't date get into a relationship like when you don't like first you got to audition you have to date you feel me See if that person is worth your time, if they know how to clean, if they know how to cook, if they know how to tend to you, if they know how to, you know, provide. If, well, men, I wouldn't say my man is supposed to be cooking and cleaning because my man's not gonna be doing that. But provide, you know, have a safe environment for you, know how to protect you, how to instill knowledge into you, have wisdom, you know what I mean? If your man is playing, um, if, you're no, if your man knows how to be a man, um, basically, so that's why I personally don't mind playing house because I want to audition people. What is this line for? There's a line wrapped around the block and it's a lot of white people. So I wonder what's going on. He's got some pretty hair. He mixed, he got pretty hair. Yeah, it's the auditioning stage for me. So I personally don't mind. Like I don't mind cooking for you. I don't mind you know, wanting you to come to my place and stay the night. You know what I mean? And if you leave some stuff behind because you clearly gonna wanna move in because I'm just the best. I feel like it's also, if you wanna be in a serious relationship, you should also show why, like, show why you are deserving for that spot in that man's life. Because some women want to be a priority in a man's life, want to be in a relationship, want to be the only one, you know, right off the bat of talking to somebody girls will get so attached and then you know get so offended if they find out that guy whatever people don't know the stages of being with somebody and so i feel like even for me that's a time for me to show that i know how to cook i know how to clean you know i know how to you know wash your clothes you know i don't I'm, i have a a safe place for you to come and lay your head you know there's nobody popping up there's no drama here it's it's peaceful you know you can come sleep lay your head here and you know wake up in the morning and have a woman to nurture you make sure you take you a shower you know like have that actual love and just care and take care of you and i don't mind taking care and taking care of you obviously i mean in a nurturing feminine way obviously i don't mean taking care of a man by providing and stuff like that for him but um well of course providing in different ways of, of providing in a way that a woman is supposed to provide obviously and then you know there's this double standard thing that i don't really get about feminists i am not a feminist at all i'm a realist and one thing i don't like about feminists and their double standards it's like double standards for some feminists literally only exist for feminine like females they some females want the double standard taken away only for them for women only women should not have the double standard but a man can't like women shouldn't have the double standard but men have to play their role a man has to be a man a man has to take the trash out a man has to pay the bills a man has to do this a man has to be six feet a man has to do this but when it comes 
to women women want to be men so bad it's weird like so women want equal pay as a man right feminist or whatever i'm a realist i'm a woman but i don't agree with the, the women that i'm talking about they want like equal pay with men and all this other stuff but they don't want to play the role as a man so you don't whip some women don't want to provide for a man obviously you don't want to be the breadwinner you don't want to have to protect your man and like fight when y'all are out and be the man the masculine one in the racial relationship right so you think a man's supposed to do all those things, but then women turn around and get mad when a man says, you're supposed to cook, you're supposed to clean, you're supposed to wash my clothes, you're supposed to do things that women are supposed to do. Women get mad at that, but then turn around and also get mad at a man. I, I don't understand. It, it's confusing to fucking me. I don't even understand my own trying to piece it together because it's so confusing. Like. How do you want equal play as a man, but you're not a man? You don't even want to do things that men do. You want to be a woman. You want to sit back and have a man just take care of you, but you want equal pay. You want to be treated as a man, but you don't want to do the things that men do. It, it doesn't make fucking sense. I'm not a double standard. I'm a, I'm a double standard person. There's double standards. I cook, I clean. My man's not going to be in the kitchen doing anything. And that's why I like to play house sometimes. Well, not play house sometimes. This is the first time I've ever played house. I've only ever um, lived with a, a male when I was 21 years old. Well, yeah, 21, 22 is the only times I've ever stayed with a guy. I had a had a relationship had a boyfriend ever since then i've always lived by myself um even now i'm still living by myself but of course i have somebody that comes over regularly and like we literally we, we basically be playing playing house you know i cook for him i clean for him i wash his clothes i fold his clothes um i make sure he's never wanting for food like when we go out to eat sometimes i'll pay for the food i don't mind because you do literally everything a man is supposed to do for his woman the least I could do is make sure that you're never hungry. That's like the literally least I could do is make sure that you're not worried about food. You're not, you know, out here starving. You're not out here, you know, worried about your clothes being clean, having to clean clothes and then go get money. And, you know, I, I like to be a woman. I like to thrive in my femininity. I double standards exist for a reason because I'm a female. I am not a male. And a lot of females, for some reason, want to be males so bad, they might as well go ahead and fall under the transgender category. Like, go ahead and go get the procedure done to grow you a penis or whatever that transgender process is. You know, take the testosterone, do all that good, and become a man since you want to be one. And, and want equal pay as a man? Go ahead and become one. You want equal pay? You want to be treated as a man? You want to be equal to a man? You want to be the me too bitch? He can do it. I can do it too. Like, no. I'm not like that, and I don't encourage women to be like that. And most women that are like that don't have a man. They have a bitch. They have a bitch, obviously, because you want to be the man so bad, so you have a bitch for a man. But girl, so I don't mind the auditioning phase to see, you know, I feel like you should wait to do that obviously when you are stable or when you find somebody that you really like want to audition, like you want to try it out and see if it's going to work and see if y'all could actually become partners in crime, like be actually become partners. And, and this stuff better work too, because I'm not doing this again. This is the second time I've had to do this. Remember, I'm on a diet. I have made dinner. I'm lit already. Mm -hmm. Remember me? So first, when you put the lights up, you want to secure the box so the lights hanging from, or else you're just gonna short out. Okay, hey girl. So I'll put this here. I'm gonna start it here. Cause I want it against the wall. Perfect. 
part 30. I just popped part 30. Part 10. I just popped up part 10. Part 60. I just popped two. Part 30. Perky dance. Let me do my perky dance. Perky dance. Let me do my perky dance. I woke up in the middle of the night. I thought an exorcism was going on because the lights were just flickering on and off. I bet you it stays permanently. I got the light turned up kind of high because it's dark in here. So let me grab the whole bottle. I'm feeling good. We're not going to drink it out of the bottle, even though this is our own spot because we love ourselves. And so we like to buy ourselves nice glasses to drink our wine out of. Here we are. Shiver inside doesn't show, but my nerves are inside out. It's because. 
us You're not worth less than perfection Ooh, thought it was in my pants Now I'm all confused Turning gold into sand Don't know what you do to me I know you can take my breath away Yeah, cause when you touch my hand It all goes away The things I planned, the things I would say Now I get breath Hey honey, this is Pop Back and Drop In. So today is Easter Monday. I'm about to take my dog's bath. That's the first thing that's on my list is dog's bath and a few other things that I have to do. Um, my little board. So yeah, I'm about to put some tahine on my fruit. I got this fruit from um, Kroger's, you know, just a nice little mixture, girl. And I need to hurry up and eat it because it's starting to look like it's getting bad. That's the only thing I don't like about getting fruit bowls is because you have to eat it right then and there or else they're not gonna stay good. So I just add my tahine because that's how I like to eat my fruit. Just like that, girl, you know. I love me some tahine on my throat. And my hair is laid in slate today. I don't have a fork. Well, chopstick will suffice. I use a chopstick. Cause my, I guess my fork's in the dishwasher, but I don't really want to like doing all that right now. It's just fruit, so. And girl, my hair, don't you like it? It's so cute. Let me show you on the the mirror, but yes, yeah, it's, it's real slick. I finally got my hair how I want it. I've been using really good products, so yeah, we're all loving the hair. But, I don't really have much planned today. I have my board up there, so I'm gonna get my dogs out. I've been working on getting my credit to the eight, so I want to get an eight fifty. And then I need to call Trademark Engine. Something happened with my Punani Box trademark and I didn't finish submitting something, so I have to go in there today and do that. And then I need to put all my bills on auto pay because I did get a new account. And so I have to change all of my bills to my new account and then get some orders out. I got a lot of book orders over the weekend. And also my apartment that I'm at, um, my home away from home, I kind of want to get a new apartment. Like, it's cute and stuff, but I don't know. I just feel like it's too much commotion there. And, mm, oh girl. I don't know. I'm right in the front, and that's why like people be watching me. I'm the new pretty girl. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> I just feel like my location is compromised because here in Dallas, obviously, I have A lot of privacy 
at my apartment. Mm. So, I'm just not used to being at those kind of apartments. They're kind of, they're apartments. It's not a condo or a high rise. They're real live apartments. So I don't know. I'm gonna put in a transfer request and see if I can move somewhere to the back. So I'm waiting for them to call me. I'll pay. I don't wanna be in the front though. Mm. Hey honeys, what's poppin'? Well, what's poppin'? Lock and dropping. Let's get it right. I am doing some shopping right now. I left my car camera at the crib and I just brought this one. But um, I felt like doing a little bit of shopping before I left town. So I went and grabbed some bottles. I grabbed me a Casa Azul bottle girl and they had a sale on the Casamigos bottle and the Henny bottle so I grabbed two of those two and it's hot outside so I'm like actually sweating right now um, I'm trying to hurry up and catch the mall and stuff because I want to grab a few little sun outfits because I don't have any but I'm probably not going to hit the mall uh, mainly because I already went shopping it, the weather changed so fast but um, right now I'm actually headed to bed bed and bath beyond I forget bed and bath works bed and body works whatever it's called girl because I need to grab me some candles for my apartment because girl I have dogs so let's go ahead and head there first well second to Hibbits. I'm gonna go in here and grab me and my boo thing some stuff. Uh, personally, if I shop for me, I'm gonna shop for you too. That's just the type of girl I am. Just cause, I don't know. If you shop for you, I want you to shop for me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't have no necklace or anything, girl. I'm wearing my Ethica. I'm wearing my Ethica top and my Ethica bottoms. But I'm gonna run in here and see what they got. Well, girl, never mind. They like literally just closed. Which I'm a little upset about because I just drove 20 minutes here and if they would have their hours updated on the website, I wouldn't have came. And I want those shoes right there that are in the window. Mm -hmm. They should let me come in. They'll have a good paying customer. I'll spend $500. But them. They want to sit here and have the wrong hours on their website and stuff. Oh, it makes me upset because I was really looking forward to going shopping. <sighs> Why does the mall close so early? I guess everything is closed now. It's 8 p.m. The mall is closed. Like, literally, the only thing open is Big T, and I'm not going to go shop at Big T. Whatever, I'll just go home. I'm not even gonna, like figure out what's open and what's closed. I just need to start getting out and shopping earlier. It's just during the day I try to work and make myself productive. So I be staying home and I try not to come out till five. And I didn't come out till 7.30. I didn't realize everything closed at eight. But whatever. I really wanted to get my guys some stuff. Nothing's open. It's eight. I guess everything closes at eight. Who does that? I guess I could cook. I guess I could cook some fried chicken with some cabbage, mac and cheese, and some cornbread. But I just cooked last night. I'm not trying to cook again tonight. I mean, I could. But now I'm upset because I wanted to have 
new clothes for us and food. Why does Big T close at nine? Like, why does the Big T stay open so late? And a lot of y'all girls be online boosting and stuff. Like, y'all just be getting new bags every day, girl. <laughs> I know the Big T plug that be selling y'all y'all's bags. Them fake bags. Whatever, girl. Trust me, I go to Big T, honestly, to go get them. I, I love the, the clothes that they have. Like, this nice little black. Like, a lot of the black outfits y'all see me wear, I got them from Big T. I like to go there because this one lady, she has all the nice black leather clothes. Like, black leather dresses, black leather shorts, black leather pants. You know, when I go out, I like to be mobbing all black, so. But, I guess I'm not going to get him no clothes today. I wanted to do that for him. Um, this is big old dog in the street. I have not seen a stray dog in forever. Do I got any food in here to give him? No, I don't. Hey, baby. Do I have water? No, I do have some water. I think we have water. Oh, I don't have much water, though. Oh a stray dog over here he's a big stray dog I wish I would have brought that dog food I have this dog food that I'm not giving Omara I'm giving Camila no more because it's making her have diarrhea I'm gonna start putting I'm gonna put it in my car tomorrow so if I see any stray dogs I can give it to them I don't have any much water to give him like that's nothing I don't have anything in here no food just liquor and stuff I'm gonna go ahead and just take my butt home like I came out too late. I should have went shopping early. You start waking up earlier. But I just got to town. And I just got to hang out my boo thing last night, girl. So I was cutted up this morning, you know. You know how us girls are. We try to savior all of our moments when we're with our with when we with daddy. We try to savior all the moments. Cause girl, daddy's here. I'ma get I'ma get with y'all later. I'ma talk to you all everybody. Everybody's on hold when daddy's home. Okay? Period. Everybody's on hold. Until he leave, until he want to leave, is when I want to talk to y'all. Period. Don't talk to me when daddy's home. But girl, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. I'll see y'all when I get home. Bye. Hey, girl. So, I just got home. Let me show y'all what I got from Bath and Body Works and from the liquor store. Since I didn't get to do any shopping. And I'm honest. I'm actually also going to. I can't talk right now. <laughs> I don't know why I wear this outfit. It's so hot outside. But um, I'm actually going to go ahead and warm me up some leftovers too because I'm kind of hungry. And I didn't really eat today. I just had a salad and some and a little bit of lobster. So I'm going to warm up my steak from yesterday and some of the Brussels sprouts and the pasta and stuff. And um, I'm going to show y'all what I got. So I got this Azul bottle. Girl, I don't ever spend this much on no liquor. Like, what? Girl, I got this. A Casamigos uh, Blanco bottle. And a Hennessy bottle. Um, my guy is always like buying expensive stuff. Well, my boo thing is always buying expensive stuff. And he has expensive taste. I usually always try to save money, but I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and buy him a nice bottle because I'm about to go out of town. That way I have something nice to drink on, whatever. And I got me from Bath and Body Works. Some candles. I got three candles. My boo actually told me about going to Bath and Body Works. Told me basically the candles. You know how they can make your whole house smell really good. And so I was like, let me go ahead and go up there. And get some good smelling candles because I do have three dogs, so it is very important for my place to smell nice. And then I just grabbed him some of this. Um, of course, when I shop for me, I shop for others. It's just, ooh, it's some men's body spray that I thought looks really nice. Um, and it smells really good. So I got him that. And these are the three candle smells that I got. I really like them. So I got strawberry pound cake. I got iced lemon pound cake and Capri waves. I'm gonna use this from the restroom, this one for the living room, and this one for my bedroom. She 
was going to blackmail Ferguson. Court documents read Kelly even threatened to tell his wife about their affair if he doesn't answer her, be it Jackson. Her car found abandoned and burned in Frisco a day after she was reported missing. Investigators tracked Ferguson's phone to that area and jailed him on kidnapping charges days ago, but Kelly is still missing. Truly a heartbreaking story. Authorities confirm Kayla Kelly's body was found in Grand Prairie, less than a mile from the home of a man that detectives say she was dating. Well, Tiffany Liu was live outside the Collin County Jail where that man is being held this morning. Tiffany, there could be some more charges, we understand. Yeah, Kayla, uh, he is here on a $1 million bond in, uh, in Collin County Jail this morning. Like you mentioned, we can confirm it is Kayla Kelly. She was found in a wooded area. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food, relax. I was gonna go grocery shopping and cook again tonight, but I decided that I'm doing too much and I'm not married yet, so I need to quit playing house so much. And um, I cooked last night, you know, I'm doing my little nice gestures, but there is a certain point where you have to set boundaries for yourself. I am not married and I'm not in a relationship, so I'm not gonna cook tonight. I cooked last night and you know, my boo, he's on his own tonight. He better feed himself or eat these leftovers. She, she. Detectives say Kelly told friends she was going to blackmail purposes on kidnapping charges days ago. This morning, Tiffany, there could be some more charges to understand. Yeah, Kara, uh, he is here on a one million dollar bond in, uh, in Hall County Jail this morning. Like you mentioned, we can confirm it is. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just throw some stuff on. I'm not even going to get like super dressed up, girl. I'm just going to, I have my Ethica fit on. I'm going to take this off. But no, <laughs> look at him, he's, he's scared. <laughs> him do a bad boy thing. Him picked up my $1,500 slides. Him was trying to do a no-no. <laughs> joking, Papa. These are $1,500 slides. No, honey, put them down. What's Papa y'all? So I just got back from the store. Let me zoom in on now. <laughs> so I can take care of these crazy lashes. Um, so I just got back from my favorite beauty supply in Dallas. Well, the one that I is my favorite because she always has the stuff that I like. I personally like olive oil products. Um, they work best for my hair. And I think for blonde hair, you need that deep moisture. So, and I feel like olive oil miracle products do the best on my hair. So I'm gonna show you the products that I got, and then I'm gonna also put this lash glue on my lashes, girl, and get these off my face, okay? These are the products that I got from them. I absolutely love this heat protectant serum for blonde hair. This is my favorite, the serum, the seal and wrap. I love to use this before I go to sleep, and I put my hair up in my bonnet, and then their olive caster gel that I use for my edges to slick in. Lashes. That's the glue I got to remove my lashes. I absolutely love this glue. So yeah, honey. Those are the products I got. These products I love, they keep my hair nice, obviously. So these bundles that I have, and I've actually had these bundles for two years now. This is, this is the 40 inch bundles that y'all see me have last year. The black, when I had my black hair, these were 40 inch bundles. Um, it's actually eight bundles, and obviously when you dye and bleach hair, it shrivels up. So I've had these for two and a half years, well, two years, two years, a year and a half. A year and a half, not two years, a year and a half I've had this um, this hair. And um, yeah, I bleached it, and I've had it for that long, so that's why it is as thin and obviously as short as it is. And I also cut it. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <coughs> my hair would not be this thin 
<clears throat> my extensions would not be this short or this thin if I didn't cut them. I cut them because I personally like even hair. I don't like layered, the layered look. It just looks messy to me. Like, I don't really like messy. I like everything to be... I'm very meticulous. I'm very detailed. So with my hair, I like if I'm going to get bundles, I'm going to get all the same length. I'll get all 30 inch off whatever. I only usually get 30 inch and longer. I don't know. It's like long. Hmm. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? What you doing, girl? What you eating for lunch? I'm eating hmm, some Caesar salad. I'm about to throw this together. I got some Kroger's. You know, that's my spot. My Kroger's car be hitting. Wait, I don't know. This Caesar, why does it look this color? Hmm. They don't ever be giving you enough sauce, but like who even like really? This was like literally a squirt of sauce. But whatever, I'll take it. And then it comes with chicken and some some cheese. Some cheese. Ooh. That was kind of messy the way I did that, but you know i'm not even gonna use their fork because why they do me like that but i am gonna use their croutons because i don't have any croutons i don't have long nails anymore either <laughs> so i can't stab stuff anymore and then i got me some shrimp cocktail girl with some the marinara cocktail sauce i mean not marinara you know what i mean and of course my favorite modello Hmm. Shout out Modelo. Huh. Huh. I gotta get the teeth up in there. You know. I drink y'all every day. You know. I I really like the dark ones. I forget what they're called. We'll call them Modelo Anejo. Okay. I don't know. But the dark ones, those be hidden for sure. Um, no, but I love me some Modelo, girl. And I was gonna really just eat the shrimp cock the shrimp. Um, they did not give me enough dressing. I don't know why I don't have no ranch dressing or nothing. I don't have no balsamic. But it's gonna have to do. Yeah, salad. Mm. Mm. This shrimp be hitting, like, mm. 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 My dogs love shrimp. I went to the lake with them earlier and I just walked with them. I didn't even take my phone or anything. I just wanted to kind of enjoy the moment because I'm going to be traveling a lot lately. I mean, I'm going to be traveling a lot soon because I want a better future for myself. And so I have to get my ass up and get shit done because I have to. I can't sit around and wait to get motivated or wait till I feel like it. The hard work is going to pay off. Like, success doesn't come overnight. And a lot of times, you're not going to feel like doing it. But you have to. Or else you're not going to win. Girl. And that's the thing. Motivation, like... Andrew Tate said it best, like you gotta quit looking for motivation because motivation is basically you have to look for a reason to do something. You're looking for a reason to do it. And most of the times you're not gonna wanna feel like doing something, but you gotta do it anyway. You gotta get up, like you gotta motivate yourself and quit looking for, motivate yourself and quit looking for others to motivate you. And that's your motherfucking right, cause that's what I do. 
And me not having no Instagram, I really just be living my life. Like, I don't be knowing what's going on with these celebrities. Sometimes I see it in my news feeds with my YouTube, but I'm not the type just to sit there and watch drama. Sometimes I will, of course, when I get bored late at night or whatever. But you know, even me, I'm always doing something, girl. I'm gonna quit being greedy, being greedy. And go ahead and get my dogs some shrimp. Shrimp is actually really good for your dogs. Of course, you don't wanna just give them a whole damn cocktail plate. Here, babies. Set. Mara. Papa. Baby, baby mama. Ow. She needs to relax. She be acting so feisty lately. I think she's actually pregnant for real. Shrimp and salad. It's a nice little mix for sure. If I can get these croutons. Hmm. And I got the bendy straw. Don't play with me. I ain't ever been one of them. Mm -mm. I don't know what it is about beer through a straw that just tastes so much better. I think as you drink it faster, cause you know, I know how to suck it out the straw. I feel what I mean. Mm. Mm. <laughs> anyway. This is all I'm gonna eat today. And some cheese later for sure. I definitely forgot I have my cheese. It's crazy that I'm full. Well, I mean, I did just eat like, how many shrimp did I eat? Right, 14 shrimp, damn. But I ate a salad. I mean. <coughs> <coughs> the roaches of the ocean. They, they're good though. I mean, don't judge me. Y'all eat crawfish. If you eat crawfish. Obviously, you eat shrimp. I mean, I don't know. You set my soul on fire. It's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.